Hello everybody and welcome back to the Modlock. Let's go jump in. We've been doing pretty well so far. We have done two runs as Andromeda and Tate Andromeda and lived through both. I did just try to start a deleted run and it crashed, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. Because we're going to play the deleted this time around. He's a really fun character. I'm really hoping it works. Yeah, there you go. We're going to be playing as Happy99 here, which is essentially the standard mode for this guy. And this guy, he's a pretty normal character for the most part. Apart from all of the shenanigans and all the craziness and all the stuff that isn't normal at all. But you can play in pretty vanilla. He doesn't have to be crazy. I'm really worried about this room. <laughs> he doesn't have to be too crazy. You can play him fairly vanilla and take normal items. But we'll see. We'll see what we end up having to do here. Um, we did get a forget me now off the bat, which is pretty decent. I'm going to bit flip it though. Each kill. Okay, we don't want that. On bomb spawn, eight red poops. Is that on bomb usage or on picking up a bomb? Either way, that, that's gone now. <laughs> we can't use that because that's got a really bad downside to it. The forget me now is a good idea, but I don't know. It wasn't really my shtick there. It wasn't really my shtick. I didn't really want that. <laughs> I wanted an item and it gave me forget me now. Forget me now, I should have just taken, but I'm addicted to the bit flip. You just got to be, you, you got to know your time. You got to know your time. And you got to know what, like, you remember your downsides too. You got to... Have a good memory with this character to remember all the negative things that you've got going on. Could, could all of these not spawn headless, please? That was so many headless ones, my god. There's so many walking around headless now. It's kind of crazy. Don't get hit by the uh, champion one. That would be uber bad. Uber bad. So basically at the minute, we're, we're kind of playing very vanilla and then waiting for a deleted item to come along that really changes things up a bit. And there is quite a few of those. So hopefully we'll get one of those at some point. Probably another one of these guys in this corner, isn't there? Yep. Slightly long room here, but we can uh, we can deal with it. Very much hate these enemies sometimes, especially when they poop out the big spiders. Dude, that hit me? Okay, okay. I'll take a pill, why not? It's a health up, hell yes. I feel vindicated. So yeah, I won't be checking everything for deleteds and seeing what they are, but I will check a good amount of them. Starting off here, we got the good old blighted urban. I kind of want to bomb him, but I don't really need to. Just play him, play him close so we don't get hit by the creep. And he's a pretty simple boss fight. When he does the running, though... Oh, the running. The running is bad. We got Synthoil here. I'm just going to take Synthoil. I ain't risking it for a biscuit. And um, we'll go down to the next floor. Already on one heart. Not a great start. Not a great start on one heart. But... We won't get hit again, so that's fine. We will get a heart out of this poop. No, we got a penny, though. We will get a heart out of this room, clear. That Come on, game. Just give me what I need. I see you there. Oh, that was a... That was an amazing shot by that dude. Holy. I was not expecting that at all. Okay, we are now one hit away from death already. I thought the deleted would be one of the easier characters. Turns out he's uh, he's been a, a bit of a bit of a troubling one for us so far. I am not comfortable with that in any sense of the word. Let's play it safe. I really need a heart game. Thank you. Oh lord. <laughs> starting out a bit risky. But for today's question of the day, we have an interesting one. I've started up a Discord channel for questions of the day, so please go and do leave them in there if you'd like. But the question of the day is, um, how do you open a social situation with a new person? I really like that one. I think it's a really interesting one. And for me, it really it really does depend on the, um, on the type of person that I'm meeting and in what context. It very much changes. I know some people have anxiety and trouble meeting new people and trouble, like, difficulty engaging with new people but i don't really usually have an action plan going in normally my first instinct is to just try and get like a key piece of information about that person like one of their hobbies or something and try and vibe off of that try and like use that information to get to know them a little better and start a conversation like for example someone from my uh, girlfriend's work i recently met and um i figured out he was really into cooking just by chatting to him randomly yeah he was saying about going home and cooking a ramen, uh, a big pot of ramen, and I was like, oh, damn. It sounds so good, and we ended up just talking about cooking for, like, the entire night. Oh, we have to take Dumpy. I'm sorry, but he is so strong. He is the best boy. We can play way more aggressively with Dumpy in our back pockets. I'm very happy to have him. 
Very happy to have him indeed. All right, let's move along. He can protect us from contact damage as well, I'm pretty sure. So, so far, no bit flipping. But yeah, like, it really depends on the social situation. It's it's very, very hard to say exactly. Um, but I think, it, I think it really depends on, like, are you with people that know this person already? Is person someone you've never met before? Do you know anything about this person prior to meeting them? Because if you can find anything out about them, it's always preferable. Because I think it, lets, it gives you a good jumping off point. And if not, I think it's always, like... Just talking about your hobbies or like bringing up something about your hobbies is always a good way to go. In the UK, it's always talk about the weather. <laughs> Not a hobby, but for the, a lot of the UK, it seems to be. Soul Heart there, very nice. We don't want to go Devil Deal here. And we'll hop on down. So far, I'm starting this out very vanilla. I think, I think that's the way to go with this guy. I think you start out normal, and once you've got a good baseline, then you start getting weird. Especially on Nuzlocke, where death is around every corner. There's many negative effects that can affect you with this guy that could really ruin us. So we, 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 we've got to be pretty careful. We've got to be pretty careful. But yeah, having, having Dumpy allows us to play way more aggressively, which I really like. Especially considering he has such a short charge time to wake up again. I really like that on him. Beautiful. We're just going to keep charging in. We've got good damage to start with as well here. Really nice to get a damage up off the bat. Take out these guys first. They stop spawning stuff. Ooh, that was a bad hit by me, but Dumpy came to save us once again, as I said. He will always be our saviour. He will be my hero, baby. Once again, he saved me. And once again, he saved me. That's three times this room that Dumpy has answered his call to action and saved me from instant death. <laughs> no, not instant death, but still. Really good to uh, to get so many uses out of him in just a single room. He's so valuable. He is insane. He is Dirty Holy Mantle, as Slayer described him. And I love that about him. Okay, dude, I hate the fact that he spawned a bomb fly because he's going to go around the world and back again. Now I have to wait for him. He can't protect me from laser beams or explosions, though. There is, there is a few things he cannot do. He is a god, but he's not that much of a god. That was beautiful. Look how quickly he recharges. He's back awake again. All you got to do is go walk up to him, and he's good to go. No spike chest for me, thank you. A lot of big rooms going on here. So, like, this room, for example, normally I don't really like getting too aggressive in. But with, with this setup, it's way easier to stay in the mix. Got hit anyways. And again. I did forget that Dumpy can actually get stuck over gaps. For some reason, I thought he wouldn't go over the gaps. He very much does and can. Shouldn't actually play too risky in this room now, thinking about it. I made a judgment error. This was not a good room to show as an example. Okay, last boy. It's always been a really annoying room, hasn't it? Okay, good heart there. Check out item. Do we want a bit flip yet? It's a good item. I think I can bit flip it. Every 11 rooms get a brimstone bomb until the end of the floor. Every 40 seconds spawn three basic batteries and get a broken heart. I'll take that. Every um, every so often we get three basic batteries. That sounds super strong. And the downside of just one broken heart, pretty good. Like, look at that. Batteries. So, as soon as we get a good active, which would have actually been the deck of cards there, we're in a really good spot. Like an insanely, insanely good spot. Check in here real quick. Fortunately, that's not the actives we're looking for, really. Could go back and search around, but I think we're just ready to fight the boss. It's a very tough boss. Dumpy is going to be in use constantly in this boss fight. That's three times already. My fella, my boy, you saved me. Genesis is an interesting one. Um, it's a good item, but I, I, I just don't think it's a good idea for this. So let's bit flip it. Plus one luck on floor. Use three times Mandora's box every two minutes. Get 
that until the end of the floor. Every three hits, 12% chance to lose a random item. Delete that. Okay. Cool. And then we can also do the same for this. And flip it. Flip and dip it. We could also just take it, whatever it ends up being. Can you stop spawning babies, please? It's very annoying. My dumpy's getting scared. Poor little boy. I'm just trying to kite him into the into the fires at this point. Kind of the best way to deal with him. Dude, stop spawning babies. It's very frustrating. I just love the fact that he's like, he's lived in this room his whole life. He's been a statue in this room his whole life. I wake him up and he immediately is like, oh, all these fires that have been in here forever. I just could walk into them. Oh god, we need a good active. It's gonna be insane. Grab that. And I'll bit flip that. 75% chance to get brainworm, spawn a random monster. We can't do that. That's terrible. That's terrible. Anything that's on bit flip, we do not want. They are dangerous. What? That's not Pandora's box. Wait, no, it is, it is. That's insane. So I think we take that. And then these two we can bit flip. Um five seven seven, that's pretty bad. On hit spawn five bombs. On 65 kills, spawn two womb teleports. Each planetarium. Okay, that's also pretty bad. Unfortunately, not great stuff here. Divorce papers was really nice though. I like that. Just gonna make sure we don't take any too crazy risks. I want the run to get wild. But I want it to get a controlled amount of wild. You know? Make sure it is a controlled amount of wild. Let's keep it going. Good, good. Oh, lovely. God damn the batteries. Speed for tears is definitely not a good trade. Not good enough for me, at least. This guy's going to be slightly annoying. He's going to take forever to kill. But, I don't know. Our tears and damage, it might not be so bad. Ooh, Dumpy saved me there. I always forget he saves you from contact damage as well. Such a good lad. This didn't actually take too long, to be honest. It's almost dead. Oh, no, actually. Okay, he's got a lot more phases than I thought, for some reason. Dumpy. Calm down. Damn, we need a good active. I'm wondering what active will work well with this. Obviously, anything HP related is going to be great. Oh, it's this damn room. I hate this room so much. Yep, full heart damage on this room all the way. It's very sad. Getting my dumpy back. This room's just a pain. If you've got low damage or low tier rate, it's just like a soft lock. Luckily, we're, we're able to get through it, but it is not easy. Thank you, dumpy, for saving me there. Come back to me now, y'all. Thank you. It's the fact that the globs can move once they're down. It's like, excuse me, but no. You shouldn't be able to move while you're down. Gimme, gimme. Get that out of the way. No completion marks as this guy, obviously, yet. But it's good that we have that mod enabled so we can see. Thank you, Dumpy. This is definitely a bit flip one. Every 90 seconds, 2% chance to use that. Each floor, you shovel. Each room... Wait, each floor... Spawn five red poop. Um... No, that's that seems problematic. Having having a bunch of holes to the next floor seems like it's going to get me in trouble. Thank you, Dumpy, for saving me twice in a row there. Very nice of you to do so.
Pop your head up, fella. Beautiful. I am playing probably a bit bitchy from what some, some of you will think I'm being a bit of a pussy, but honestly, this character can get so wild so fast. you got to keep a, a good check on what's going on. By the way, we do have the, um, the clicker here, which will respawn us as a random character if we die. That doesn't matter. If we respawn as a random character, it's this character's still dead. If we die as this character, we die as this character, regardless of if we have a respawn or not. The only, the only exception is you're allowed to use nine lives. Okay, another very, very hard room here. Oh, brimstone bombs, I forgot we had that. Beautiful. Ah, where'd you come from? Stay back, heathen. Okay. Chop down these fools. Dumpy. You're the best. I would have taken so much damage if it wasn't for this fella. This is why I took him. I knew I'd take a lot of damage without him. I'd be in a much worse spot. I'd be financially ruined. Can't get him back now, though. He's over a gap. Damn traitor. Give me an active item, please. Wheel of Fortune. I'm just going to bomb it. I really should have saved my bombs for the boss, actually. In case it's a hard one. Luckily, this one's not too bad. It'll take us a long time, but we can get through it. Oh, I definitely feel that I'm losing my voice. I've been talking for a lot today. I can feel it. Either that or I'm getting ill, but I don't think it's that. I just got a bit of a sore throat. It feels a bit strained, but I've recorded a lot today. I want to backlog a good amount of the uh, of the Nuzlocke here. And I've also been playing Cult of the Lamb God today too. Because it's a very fun game, so I wanted to record it more. And I probably still will record more today, regardless of the fact that it's probably bad for me. But hey her. Hey to the her. You are going down, big fella. Okay. Ooh, this is definitely a bit flip one. Each error room summoned 13 tier poof small. On black heart, get shot speed. On hit, get d-pad. After three hits, spawn a throwable bomb. Spawn seven batteries every three minutes. Yeah, we'll take that. That sounds decent. We lost a bit of tiers, but that seems decent enough. And we'll be on our way. We definitely need an active, though. Goddamn game. I'd love an active right now. I really would. Holy. We've got it to give us all that. That's our three batteries. We have a lot of health available to us here. If we find a sacrifice tree, we should definitely use it. Dumpy, no, come back to me. Dumpy, no, come back to me. It's really funny when I get Dumpy back and immediately lose him. I really have no need to get Dumpy back all this amount of times, because just look at the amount of soul hearts we have, but still. So we lost we lost brimstone bombs. I think I think they're temporary brimstone bombs, so we'll get them back soon. I don't know when, but soon. A bunch bunch of stuff going on. These enemies are Massive pain in the ass with low speed. Okay. We are good. Let's move on. <clears throat> wading through the, uh... Wading through them. Soul hearts. This guy can hit me apart from contact damage. His troll bombs and his lasers will all hit me. We do now have an active item. It is not a good one, but we do now have an active item. Oh, we do have a sacrifice room. Good. That was a really annoying teleport around there, though. What happened there? We uh, got hit and used the pill, I think. I really hate this room. This this, this room is kind of AIDS. Whoa, this room's horrible. Oh my god, it, it, it really is. I hate any room with these turret things in. The grimaces, but they're just the worst. Right. Sack room. You shall be played. You shall be played muchly. Right. 
One. Eh, eh, eh. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. We've got circle protection. I'll definitely take that. And let's go and get some soul hearts from the other room, shall we? Very, very nice. Back to full again, and still a few remain. Now that's profit, right there. Circle protection for free. I like it. Okay, nothing there for us. More annoying enemies. Circle protection is going to be huge for us, though. You get more ways to get rid of shots coming at us. Get the damage up. Boom. Get scaling damage up with D-pad. We need to be a little more on it with D-pad, to be honest, because it's really useful. You know what? Pop that. Don't get, gonna put a ball in the middle, but... Oh! Actually, this is a really good combo now, thinking about it with Rimstone Bombs. I forgot about that. I, for I always forget this adopts your bombs, uh... Your bomb upgrades. So useful. Get away from me. Little butt us. Get away. This is definitely a bit flip situation. Every four rooms use a pill. Uh, every floor, 1% chance to use that. Every uh, Upon entering a new floor, it's 68% chance to spawn a random monster. Yes. Why not? Seems fine to me. Stop it, you. Yeah, this is a pretty... This is, so far, pretty chill run. Pretty chill run as this guy. I do like the deleted. He's very fun. He can be some... He can lead to some really entertaining situations. As we saw with our practice episode as him. He kind of got a bit nutty. And he do tend to get a bit nutty. We got some sort of downgrade for stepping in here. I don't know what that was. On key, shot speed. On rotten heart... Use that. Okay, that's bad. That's really bad. Don't want any of that. Okay. Keep going. Honestly, with brimstone bombs, it's very much worth using this. The amount of batteries we can get whenever we want. Give us bomb immunity next. Beautiful. Puberty. There's some batteries. Ow. Awesome. <laughs> that was pretty chaotic. Right. Pegatory, another item that I think I'm okay with bit flipping. On space bar use, use a pill. That's pretty okay. On bit flip, 40% chance to spot 21 red poops. Um, Get a lot of triple shots until hit. That seems kind of interesting. I'm going to take that. It seems risky as fuck, but... Yes. Lots of triple shots. I love it. The, the uh, bit flip thing seems risky, but I'll take it. Oh, wait. Wait, is it always a luck upgrade? Or did I just get lucky there? It's always a luck upgrade. Holy. That's very useful. You soul of Isaac. Okay, that's not very good. De let's pop that, then go down. That's... Okay, we're going to get a lot of luck. A lot of luck. Here's a lot of money. Ow. That was a that was a good shot, my, my good friend. Good sir. That was a good shot. Okay. Demon's Tail. Yeah, why not? And then, yeah, we're, a, we're an adult now. So, on 
So on going through a room, we always use a puberty pill, and on using our active, we always use a luck pill. Interesting. Oh, not every time we go through a room, apparently. Just sometimes. I don't know when it triggers. Pop that. Okay, we don't have we don't have brimstone bombs yet. Be aware of that. We do have seven luck already though. Which is very nice. That luck is gonna scale pretty quickly. Ow. We got a lot of different pill effects going on right now. There's another puberty going up. When do when is it we get brimstone bombs? I'm not sure. I've probably been keeping track of that. I'll keep try and keep an eye for when it comes back next. Because we really need it. <laughs> it makes our space pass so much better. I mean, we already get a look upgrade every time we use it, which is pretty good. Item room time. Thank you, Dumpy. Damn it. Death fell or die. Thank you. D12. Not very good for us. Upon going to the next floor, um, get a lot of Abaddons until hit. Every six rooms get Terra. Is that Terra? Okay. We got a lot of Abaddons, which gave us a lot of damage. Very nice. We have Brimstone Bombs now, finally. I realize this is dangerous, but I like my luck upgrades. So, we were meant to get, like, Terror or, oh no, Soul, sorry. I think it was Soul, not Terror. But I don't know where that's, where that is right now. I guess we'll find it at some point. We'll see. It might appear, it might not. But just stay on Dumpy. Keep him going. <laughs> this strategy is, uh, tried and true. It's tried and true. Honestly, panic buttons are really good trinket for us right now. I will take that. Thank you. Brimstone! Damn it, that didn't really work. It's okay, we'll spawn some more batteries in just a moment. Don't worry about it. I'm sure they'll be here any second. We're not going to make boss rush, unfortunately, but that's not really what we're aiming for. We're just aiming to live on our first run. Same as everyone. Just aim to live on your first run. Okay, that, that killed you pretty quick. We'll take that. And we'll go down to the next floor. Beautiful. This is a very good run. That's a lot of items. Holy. Take all the ones that we need, and then bit flip the rest. Um, nah, that's fine. On key, ooh, that's really, really good. Take that last though. Spawn two shop items every eleven rooms. Spawn three trinkets. That's really good. It's, it's whatever this is. Um, it's just brimstone. On item use, use Joker. Ooh, that's good but bad. <laughs> on, I love the fact that on our book, book of Anarchy, we get Curse of the Tower. Okay, let's just take, let's just take this and then get out of here. We can bit flip back now. Oh my god, it finally happened. We spawned all the red poops. Luckily, it didn't spawn them on us. A very good fire rate and very good damage now, though. We're now at 20 luck. Is very nice. Lots of room rewards for us. 21. Why not? Ow. Okay. Keep going. Can't believe we got so many items, but you get boss items from Pandora's box, don't you? And we open three Pandora's box. 
bit flip this. Get two straw, each dice room. Nope. Don't care, don't care, don't care. There's a lot of stuff we're having to leave behind, but it's for a good cause. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, this mod lock and the uh, the deleted run as well. It's a lot of fun. Something different, isn't it? Making It's giving me a lot more reason to play Isaac, a lot more like joy to play it. So it's just something with a lot more stakes and uh, definitely more enjoyable. I really like the regular series we do, but yeah. But we're going to have Fiend Folio soon anyway, so that'll, that'll change things up for a little while. I don't know how long I'll end up playing with Fiend Folio. It depends how good it is. If they've updated the balance to make it a little more fair, I'll definitely be playing it a lot more than I did the first time around. The first time around I found it was pretty unbalanced, but it was fun. More puberty pills for us. We are very much an adult now. Bigly an adult. Ooh, brimstone boys. Ow! I always forget about the four-way brimstone guys. He actually dropped a puberty pill that time as well. I think we'll be okay. Ooh, there's our trinkets, and they are good trinkets too. Gimme, gimme. The crystal key. Very much like the crystal key. Jumpy boys. No, thank you. Oh, jumper they. There's a red room already. And the red room just has puberty in it. No. I don't want puberty. Hey, we got soul, finally. I don't know where it came from, but we got it. Hit myself with a bomb there, because I'm dumb. Got an eternal heart, apparently, too, in that room. A lot of things going on that I'm having a hard time keeping track of. I said that would happen, though. I was pretty sure that would happen. Secret room. Very nice. Ta-da! Taking care of business. And I said, boss has to be close. Even if the bombs don't hit, the brimstones will get him in some capacity. Okay. Boss room is nearly here. I just want to see what our next bit flip item ends up being. I want something more wacky. We've already got some wacky stuff, but I want more wacky. This should annihilate him. Oh no, he jumped over the entire thing. Oh no, he didn't, he didn't. But we got another one, don't worry about it. Whoa, I got loads of damage there for some reason. Where did I get all this damage from? Gold flakes is incredible. I'll definitely take it. And Sensor and Monstrance. Sensor's pretty damn good. But I feel like I have to bit flip both of them. Every room use pink in shears, gain a heart. Every thingy, each angel room, 2% chance to lose random item. I'll take that. That's pretty good. I should have checked what the other one did first, but I, I like the idea of this one. Anyways, down we go. Every room we use pinking shears. That sounds incredible. A three Bibles. Also, I really like the fact of having the golden um, golden crystal key. We're going to be opening up a lot of red rooms, as you can see. Uh, spawn a goat. What? Each room's having a chance. Okay, definitely take that. Okay, it's one of those. I was like, what the fuck? What's a goat? Instead of dying once, use the chariot. Yes. Seems decent. PGAs that we really need. Every 30 seconds, get them. For every boss kill, get car battery. On bit flip, spawn a movable TNT. Nah, that's going to be problematic. Yes, pinking she is every single room is so good. Ah, uh, that's what they are. On, on boss kill, I spawned 13 of those. That's not too problematic, but it's not exactly great. Especially for uh, the last floor. On the last floor in Mega Satan, that's going to be problematic, I think. Ow, I forgot I had flight. I didn't have flight. Check that red room there. We get a lot of red rooms. So I need to check them all. Eee, hey, I love this one. Gave me a terrible item, but thank you. Oh, wait, he spawns. He uses that bomb effect too, okay? Not so terrible now. Not so terrible. 
Didn't realize they used their bomb effects. More red rooms. God damn. Look at that. Beautiful. They can spawn red rooms off of red rooms too. It's kind of nutty. By the way, I apologize for my commentary's lacking a little bit here. My throat's quite sore. I, I, I think it's something more than just my throat hurting from talking too much. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a prolonged break after this. I think I need it. Oh, hello. So this is going to be problematic, but like not a lot. I like, just do that and it'll take care of everything. What up, arcade? Into the boss room we go. A few brimstone bombs there to cheer everyone up. And quickly go in and grab that. We got another red room over here too. We don't need to go to every single one that we get, but I like visiting them. Another one there. This will be the last one I go to this floor. I don't want to take the piss. Okay. Let's go. Filter down towards me. Probably shouldn't have used that there. Would have been better off later on. Please be careful because my health actually isn't great. Okay. You're taken care of. We got a soul card there, very nice. And we are going up, I hope. <laughs> I don't know, but I hope. And we got Glyph of Balance, okay, this is some good stuff. Probably shouldn't have taken Bomber Boy, thinking about it now. That was probably a pretty bad idea. Let's find out, shall we? Yeah, that was a terrible idea. <laughs> I like the fact that we get a peep like every floor. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of these enemies. Oh, we got two soul hearts from something there. And a red room here. Taking a lot of damage. Let's try and play it safe, shall we? I mean, it kills stuff quick, that's really nice. But it's just a bit scary. A little bit scary is all. There is, inf uh, like, some possible infinite loops you can get where it's, like, killing a boss spawns a boss, so you end up, like, infinitely killing bosses. That, that can be problematic. I've seen that happen before. Every room's going to be like this from now on, unfortunately. I caused some issues. I caused some issues. I really did. But it's not all bad. And not every room is going to have bosses in it. Just a lot of them. I'm not going to bother with red rooms, to be honest. I just want to get to the next floor. They're good, but we don't need them. I feel like I'm just going to hurt myself more than I need to by going to them. The problem is as well, it spawns them before the, uh, spawns them before the, the room opens. So we have to kill them. We can't just leave. Damn, that was a really good brimstone bomb there. Very nice. I'm not using my uh, space bar too much right now because I'm a bit scared. Pinky, nice. School bag is a bit flippable. On hit, get Monstro's Lung. On hit, 8% chance to lose a soul heart. No, no, no. Losing a whole soul heart when we get hit as long as well as the damage for getting hit sounds terrible. Okay, one more ghosty. And away we go, Steve. Okay. Good -er. Ah, fuck. I got hit loads then. I've got Isaac's heart, that's why. When did I get Isaac's heart? Terrible time to use that. It still hit me, god damn it. Okay, we got him. Okay, down to the next floor. Isaac dead, just Blue Baby left. And Mega Satan, if you want to do Mega Satan, which I think we do. Bag of crafting seems great, but it, I, I'm going to say no. Um, 
On hit, use a pill. Each um, room, 1% chance. No, no, no. Sounds terrible. Every three rooms, use a pill. God damn it. I don't want these effects. Uh, that's pretty good, I think. Every four rooms, 77 chance. Okay, that's a lot of shore bombs. No, thank you. Okay, unfortunately not great in that room. We did just get shielded tears though, which I like. Don't be save me. I'm mainly hurting myself with my own stuff right now. I'll be honest. What in the hell? I got hurt then apparently too. Shoot the woo. The amount of these guys that spawn is insane. They're not too hard though, luckily. They're really easy enemies. Pentacles, nice. Not another red room. We can't afford to be doing tons of red rooms over and over again. We don't have the keys for that right now. The Peeper's eyes actually do a good amount of damage. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, this is this is a lot of fun. <laughs> this is not the wackiest run ever with this guy, but it's a lot of fun. I like it. Just a bunch of golden troll bombs. Okay. Psy fly. Hell yes. We got two of them as well, because they're pentacles. That's awesome. Now only use like Pyro, then we're invincible. It's good that it spawns them all on the other side of the room to you. Bad that my explosive radius is so insane that I always hit myself guaranteed. Very frustrating, actually. But we still haven't lost this burn heart yet somehow. We're staying true. Instead of dying, spawn two random chests. What the hell? Why not? Does that, does that count as dying? Probably. I don't know. I don't know how this guy it, it works in the rules. I haven't figured that out. I have not figured that out at all. Polydactyl. And away we go to the boss. That still hit me. I, I'm baffled by every time it hits me. Okay, and now to go do Mega Certain. Let's go. We can speed back. We don't need to, really need to do the extra rooms, I don't think. I think we're sitting pretty, to be honest. Cool. Mega Certain, let's go. Probably a terrible idea to use this, but I feel like I have to. But 36 look. Did a good amount of damage, to be honest. We also got a battery there. We can do it again. Very hard to avoid. But I'll never stop. Every single one of these is going to spawn all of these. God damn it. I think it's anything with a health bar, I'm pretty sure. What I should just use... What I should, should just do is use my normal bombs. It's my normal bombs I can control a bit more. And I have golden bombs. Look at the amount of these fellas. Look at them. Just a swarm. What's left? I'm addicted to it. It's so strong. It's so addictive. And also, I just got a massive damage up again there. Apparently, the next phase... Oh, God. Every single one of the, those guys spawns another one of those. That's um, worrying. That was uh, unexpected, but every single one spawns another 13 of them, or however many it is. That might get us killed. Where'd the huge damage up come from? I want that again. Please stop with all the spiders. I can't handle it. It's too many. It's too many! I really didn't think it would be this much of an issue, but it really is proving to be, isn't it? Don't worry, though. Once we get through this next phase, we're pretty much scot-free from the spiders. If 
That hit me? How? I keep dropping bombs and I just don't know where they disappeared to at all. It's so confusing. Like, I dropped a bomb there. I have no idea. Wait, what? I don't have golden bombs anymore. That's why I'm not dropping bombs. Do you know? I think Isaac's heart is screwing me again, you know. I didn't realize I had it. We're really low on health here. Dude, this attack. This attack. Stop doing this attack. Isaac's heart. Stop screwing me right now. Stop. Dumpy, you little shithead. <laughs> Get back over here. Right, just sit on top of Isaac's heart. That That is not sitting on top of Isaac's heart. I really wish I had bombs right now. I might die. This is very scary. Sci-Fly should be saving me way more than it is, though. I have just noticed I still have Sci-Fly, and it's not really protecting me as much as I think it could be. It's doing a good job, but come come on now. You need to do a much better job than you're doing. So I'm getting really worried. I got hit again. I'm on one heart. I'm on one heart. This is incredibly, incredibly stressful. Holy. Holy Jamoli. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. We just about survived that. Oh my god, that was tense. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. What a run, and I'll see you guys in the next one.